In this video, we'll learn about prime numbers, factors, and multiples. So what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are numbers which can only be divided by one and themselves. So examples include two, because two can only be divided by two and by one, and have no remainders. 3 as well, because 3 divided by 3 gives us 1, 3 divided by 1 gives us 3. 4 is not, because 4 can be divided by 4 to give us 1, 4 can be divided by 1 to give us 4, and 4 can be divided by 2 to give us 2. 5. 7. Notice how 6 is not, because you can have 2 times 3. 8 is not, 9 is not, 10 is not, 11 is. 12 is not, 13 is a prime number, 14 is not, 15 is not, 16 is not, 17 is a prime number, 18 is not, 19 is a prime number, 20 is not, 21 is not, 22 is not, 23 is a prime number, and so on. One thing to always remember is that 1 is not a prime number. We said prime numbers can only be divided by themselves and 1. When that is 1, that means the number itself as well as 1 is the same. So 1 is not a prime number. What are factors? Factors are divisors. So let's just pick a number like 6. 6 can be divided by 1 because 1 times 6 makes 6, can be divided by 2, because 2 times 3 makes 6, can be divided by 3, because 3 times 2 makes 6, and divided by 6 as well. So these are factors of 6. And then again, we're talking about division without remainders. So when you divide 6 by 1, 2, 3, or 6, you get a whole number as the answer. Multiples are linked to the word multiply. So multiples of six, for example, would be six, because six times one is six. Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. 6 times 4 is 24, and so on. You get the idea. If you get confused between factors and multiples, multiples you can always link to the word multiply. So you're multiplying the number that you've got to find a multiple of with 1, 2, 3, and so on. Factors. Think of contributing factors to passing the exam, for example. So it's smaller factors that all contribute to the end result. So attendance, punctuality, doing independent work, doing revision and all of that, all of these are contributing factors to somebody passing their exam. And if you look at factors, they're generally smaller than the multiples apart from the last one, which is the same. So that can help you differentiate between factors and multiples. And the final thing, it's prime numbers, not primary numbers. 